Hi, how's it going? I'm Jack and today I'm going to be teaching you about different forms of water and where they can be found. So you're probably already quite familiar with water and you probably already know that it's that important liquid that all living things need in order to survive. And we use water for numerous things in our day-to-day -day life. Some of these common things that we use water for are drinking, bathing and showering, brushing our teeth, washing clothes and dishes, and possibly even swimming in it sometimes. And first we're going to take a look at the different forms of water and then we'll move on to where they can be found. To begin, water can actually occur in three different states of matter. And these states are liquid, solid, and gas. Water exists in the state of a liquid when its temperature is between 32 and 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Water will exist as a solid when its temperature is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And lastly, water will exist as a gas when its temperature is above 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that you know the different states of matter that water can be in, we're going to talk about the first state known as liquid water. And this is the state of water you're probably most familiar with because it is the most abundant on the Earth. This is the water you drink. It's wet and takes the shape of whatever object it is being held by. Liquid water has a high fluidity, which means it can flow easily as well. The next form of water is solid water. This is also known as ice. You're probably used to putting ice in your refreshments or seeing ice outside during the winter time, depending on where you live. When water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it becomes ice. This explains the reason we sometimes describe the weather as below or above freezing. The last form of water is water as a gas, and this is called water vapor. The cool thing about water vapor is it's always around us, but we just can't see it. In order for water to turn into a gaseous form, it must have a temperature of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that you know the different forms of water, we're going to talk about where water is in the hydrosphere. And the hydrosphere is kind of like the atmosphere, except the hydrosphere deals only with all the water on the Earth. So 71% of our Earth is covered in water, and if you had to guess where most of that 71% of water was on the Earth, where would you guess? If you guess the ocean, you would be correct. Our oceans make up around 97.5% of the water on Earth. This means only 2.5% of our planet's water is stored in other places other than our oceans. The remaining 2.5% of our planet's water is fresh water. However, not all of that fresh water is accessible to us. Of the planet's fresh water, most of it is found in ice caps and glaciers, but this is solid water, also known as ice, and we can't drink this. However, there is a small portion of our planet's fresh water in the ground. This is called groundwater, and we can access some of this water, but there are challenges that come with doing so. Lastly, there is a tiny portion of the planet's fresh water called surface fresh water, and this is just the water located on top of the Earth's surface. Surface fresh water includes lakes, soil moisture, rivers, water within organisms, and atmospheric water vapor. Lakes make up around half the surface freshwater on Earth. Rivers make up about 1%. Water that the soil holds makes up around 40%. Water in the atmosphere makes up 8%. And water within animals and plants make up another 1%. So as you can see, freshwater resources that are accessible by humans are very minimal when compared with the amount of water in our hydrosphere. So to review what we just learned, water comes in three different states of matter liquid, solid, and gas. Liquid water is the water we're most familiar with. It flows and takes the shape of whatever is holding it. It also sits between the temperatures of 32 and 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Solid water is also known as ice. This is the type of water you use to keep things cold with. This water sits at temperatures under 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Water in a gaseous form is known as water vapor. This is the water in the air that you can't see. This water sits at temperatures above 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we learned about where we can find water. The hydrosphere is all the water within the Earth. Oceans hold 97.5% of those 71% of water on our Earth. The other 2.5% of water is fresh water. This water is found in glaciers, the ground, rivers, lakes, living things, soil moisture, and in the atmosphere. Accessible freshwater is scarce when compared with the amount of total water in our hydrosphere. Thanks for watching.